Hello everyone. Um, we have one lesson to do something with you on the First World War. And we want to do something proper, something real uh, and something worthwhile. So I thought that the best thing to do was to look at some pictures, some propaganda. Now propaganda means pushing your ideas, possibly squashing other people's ideas. We'll come back to that thought. As an introduction, I'm going to look with you at four First World War posters and try and show you firstly what they're saying and how they're saying them and why I think some are better than others. Then you're going to go away and look at six and make up your own minds about them. So let's look at this first one. Here we have, it's a British poster and we have the words, who's absent? Is it you? Behind you can see a line of soldiers and some gaps. In front is the figure, a fat, portly man wearing a top hat and a Union Jack waistcoat, and that is John Bull. Now he was the symbol of Britain at the time. And he is pointing out at you. What are you doing? Okay, so what's it saying? And who's it addressing? It's not very difficult really, is it? It's addressing the people who should be in these gaps, filling these gaps. This is a recruiting poster. This is to try and get people to join the army. Is it you? Is it you personally who should be here? Who's absent? Is it you? What strings is it pulling in people? Britain, patriotism, guilt perhaps, your place in the army. So it's addressed to British men, should you be out there fighting for your country? That's the first one. 